I really enjoy stir fries and for this recipe I'm going to show you a very very simple it's a Thai influenced chicken and there's some lovely green beans with some noodles so I love Thai flavors it's spicy sweet and sour all those lovely flavors so I'm just going to preheat my wok okay so this is part of my cookware collection and um, you can make soups curries all that with a stir fries obviously we're going to use some nice rapeseed oil and what I'm going to do is I'm going to start to cook off just I have two breasts of chicken so this is simply better corn fed chicken I'm using it's fed on maize and that means it gives it that lovely yellow color but the flavor is excellent so there's no skin there's no bone and I've cut it really thin if you can see that nice thin little strips and look at the way the pan the wok should I say is heating up nice and hot exactly what I want and then you just literally just spread this all around now keep it on a nice high heat so you gotta have it nice and preheated okay see the way I'm just kind of spreading that over the wok around the wok just to seal it in don't now I, that's two chicken breasts if you're doing more I'd probably do it in batches and then you can add it all in at the very end I'm gonna leave that for a minute I'm gonna show you a very very quick dressing and um, we're going to use some honey we're going to use some lovely lime juice and we're going to use this lovely product which is just recently launched in the simply better collection it's a soya and chili dressing and this is really really good it's made from an irish company called full-on foods so i'm going to put some of that in and there's actually fish sauce in it because in this recipe you can use this too it's from another irish company called thai gold so this is a uh, non plats fermented kind of fish sauce but because it's in that dressing already there's no need to put it in twice now let's have a little look i'll come back to that in one moment just get, get a little bit of color keep it nice and high i'm using my spatula in this because it's nice and kind of gentle and you just keep moving that when you're doing stir fries the key is to get um, everything more or less the same size if you can or cut everything should i say the same size especially the chicken so we're going to mix this so we have our honey in there we're going to put a little bit of lime zest and then some juice so i'll just use my zester we're going to grate this in here see the way i'm just putting pressure just on the actual grater we're going to juice this and this is going to make it really fresh so when you think of it in the um with the honey in the dressing you have lovely sweetness from the honey and then you have this sharpness here coming through on the from the lime which works really well i love love the flavor of lime a little touch of brown sugar that's roughly about a teaspoonful and then you mix this all together you don't have to use the brown sugar if you don't want it that's absolutely fine mix that all together to give that a nice little stir there see the way it's catching there that's exactly what i want and i'm keeping that in a full heat now just make move that over to the side we're going to crush one clove of garlic in a moment these are lovely shallots and they're a banana shallot so they're nice and sweet you can also make this stir fry with red onion it works really really well so i'm going to sprinkle this all over here i think it needs a wee bit more oil i'm not using butter for a change and then just give that a little stir now shallots are lovely and sweet and they can burn very easily so just make sure you keep an eye on that one clove of garlic just literally crush this okay so rock it over and back that's what we've done there and then just bring over your little crusher and scrape off that lovely garlic so you're gonna get lots of lovely flavor in there now so we're gonna take on a little bit of color just keep moving it around perfect now, so green beans we're going to use for this that's a little bit of leftover garlic we're not going to waste anything you can put chinese five spice you can put lots of different um, ingredients into this i uh, have a little touch of ch chili just a little bit of fresh chili is going to go in here but remember there is chili in that dressing so you don't have to use both but i like a little bit of a kick in a stir fry and i think chili is one of these things the more you eat the more you get a little bit used to it so you do so just give that a nice little stir green beans i like you can use munch too or you can use the likes of sugar snap so literally they're the full green beans you top and tail them and roughly cut them with the length of your finger so they're going to go in because they actually take quite a while uh, to cook so they're going to go in there and give a lovely bit of a bite and texture into the actual stir fry so keep moving that you can see the way it's beginning to catch we're going to add in now our lovely dressing in a moment and the same company uh, for simply better produce this lovely soya and ginger 
that's a really nice uh, dressing so it is so I'm gonna put a little splash and it kind of separates so just give it a shake put a little splash in there that's perfect so see the way that has enriched it so I know some of you would have probably this at home because we've used it in so many recipes it's a lovely product always shake it this is the new one here and it has the fish sauce so it's a soya and chili so a little bit of a kick in there it's a really really nice just recently launched boat made by the company uh, full on foods and they're based on the Kerry Court border really really nice people so our chicken is uh, taking on a little bit of color the green beans I want to keep them lovely and fresh now I'm gonna put in some of the dressing not all of it just give it a mix so you're gonna hear a little bit of sizzle here might have made a little bit too much but we'll just see how we go as we're going along so just let that just you can see the way it's beginning to caramelize and scrape it down and the spatula is great for doing that so you're getting a nice little bit of sauce there now we'll put in more don't worry about that bean sprouts in goes they go, got to go in at the last minute because literally they cook within seconds and then I have some cashew nuts which I love what I've done is I've toasted the cashew nuts either on a dry pan or in the oven for about maybe five or six minutes at about 180 until they're golden brown probably in the pan is quicker and it's a little bit easier and then the last thing we're going to put in is these noodles we've already cooked them in the recipe it says that they're ready to cook uh, ready to walk, to go into the wok noodles so they're already pre-cooked these are just some dried ones we just literally par cooked them before we started the video I love noodles they really are lovely but you can serve this with rice or potatoes whatever you like so this is a recipe um, from my uh, book so this is a one pan dish so I'll just show it to you so it's a Thai style chicken noodles and green beans that's it there and it's the midweek meals so that's one of the recipes there are 100 recipes 100 images really really quick recipes as you can see uh, the key is getting really good quality chicken and then these lovely dressings so I'm going to put in more of the dressing and then we can start to finish this off lovely All right, give that a stir in goes our lovely bean sprouts they need to just go in at the last minute because we have the chicken um, nice and kind of thinly cut it's going to cook very very fast so let's pop in these noodles so remember these noodles are cooked okay so they're already cooked and then we're just going to mix this all together and this is the type of dish that you can actually you know put in the center of the table and let people help themselves I know you're probably thinking putting a wok in the center of the table actually yeah you could why not so I'll just use the tongs just make it a little bit easier again it has a silicone head so just combine everything together and then some cashew nuts and that's it you can see those lovely kind of um, green beans some cashew nut just put them in once they're toasted they really are delicious no need to put any um, salt into this because with that dressing the fish sauce is in it and that has a tendency to be a little bit salty so just mix this all through so you're just warming it up and that's it it couldn't it could not be easier it couldn't be quicker you can use munch too green beans you can put peas into that if you want to so you can mix it up I'm gonna finish with a little bit of coriander this is some coriander that I just have here just it's um, kind of going into seed so it is so I just have a little plant of it there and you can use basil just literally put that in at the last minute so if you can do that with fresh herbs you always get that lovely freshness yeah that's it so bring over the wok it's always a tricky one to serve and make it look nice but it should taste really really good so kind of just spread that out on the plate and then your chicken just make sure that that is cooked through because like that has been on for quite a while and because it's so thinly cut I know it's going to be cooked through so just with the noodles served with rice is actually really good too so I, that was two chicken breasts I had in that a couple of green uh, beans and then of course the shallots you could use some lovely red onion there so I'm just going to kind of build a little bit higher than that that's great now it is what it is sometimes it's hard to get a, a stir fry kind of looking really pretty and uh, delicious put the green beans there now there we go a little bit of fresh coriander just 
the range like that and that is a really really simple but delicious stir fry um, using all the ingredients that I really like from Thailand lime all that chili you know that lovely fish sauce it's a great combination the key is to say a really good chicken and using some lovely vegetables and those dressings so enjoy this I think this is the one all the family will enjoy and um, you could do this with beef you could do it with pork but I think chicken works really well with this and then the cashew nuts give a great texture so happy cooking and enjoy this